Sister Brynhild, how can you be- how can there be so much difference between our- Performance, output, equipment. No, it can't just be that. There's something else going on. You fight well, sisters. Better even than your specifications should allow. But one of the things I gained in meeting Sigurd was a human heart. It is something uncontrollable, something wholly different from our natural state. At times, the feelings it inspires can drive one to madness. Drastic mood swings, wavering, faulty, f wavering, faulty functionality, excessive heat. Now that you three have been alive for so long, I see you all have human hearts as well. You all have intense emotions, and your spearmanship reflects it. I'm so glad to see that. What? Huh? Love, hate, joy, grief. They all flicker the flames in the wind. Sometimes they shrink to embers, but other times they explode into, into all-consuming blazes. But even the tiniest embers show that there is something lurking within your circuits. Th that's not true! Don't be ridiculous, sister. We are autonomous machines. We may, know, we may now belong to the Queen rather than Odin, but that doesn't mean we've gained emotions. You're wrong! We don't have emotions. Do you take us for human? We would never allow something so unstable within ourselves. Oh, sister. Our sister from proper human history. Why did it come to this? First you preach at us, then you tell us we're not even Valkyries. I knew it. You have gone mad. Your mixed feelings for Sigurds have for Sigurd have taint, tainted and twisted you. Once you are our proud, unwavering, fearless sister, you gather the souls of fallen heroes tireless, tire, tirelessly. No more. Your affections have corrupted your mind. Throod, your magical energy is leaking. You need to calm down. This can't stand. It can't. It can't. How dare you? Sister, ah. Uh... And I believe this is the final battle. Yeah, against uh, Throod and Hildur with a random Valkyrie thrown in for some reason. Oh, Proto Arthur. Someone loved you enough to fucking give you a uh, level 100. And I'm gonna assume all your skills are level 10 too. Oh yeah, that's right. This was recorded on my account before before he lost it. So that's technically my Cleopatra, who has now gone to the void. Oh, uh, sad times. I'm now <laughs> I'm now made sad. Not my Arthur though, but a friend's Arthur. By the way, that Arthur fucking tore through them. Holy shit! God may not even really have to try. Fucking Arthur could probably maybe apply some of uh, that buster and fucking tear through uh, Hildur. Probably kill the Valkyrie for sure, maybe. Depending on what NP level he is, if the NP loads. Come on, Proto Arthur. You can do this. I know your camera's shy, but trust me, I believe in you. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! If I wasn't afraid of desyncing this, I would just skip this. There we go. Oh, he's only MP1. That's kind of disappointing. See, I knew that would kill the Valkyrie. No fucking contest. Almost kind of wonder why he even brought Cleopatra. I've gotten attack ups, but uh, oh, because there are more than one Valkyrie. Oh, oh, that's why. <laughs> Oops, I'm observant. Also, it's always weird to me when uh, when enemies get like uh, quick card ups or buster ups or stuff like that, 
Because you can never really tell if they're using a quick card or if they're using like a uh, if they're using a quick or if they're using a buster or whatever. Because I mean, all their attacks look the goddamn same. It's kind of like applying crit star down on them. It's like they don't use crit stars. What the fuck does that mean to them? Oh, he killed Hill. He killed uh, Hilder. Nice. All right, King Arthur, you're done here. Who's next? Shiki? Really? Okay, I guess thinking maybe the... Uh, thinking maybe that the uh, Sabres would do their job then. If she crits well enough, it, yeah, she's dead. I was going to say, if this crits well enough, this will kill her. She's got enough defense downs on her. That's why I definitely went way better than the first time. Or not the first time, but the, uh, definitely went better than, uh, the last battle. Granted, he's also fighting against one less, uh, of the, uh, fucking Valkyries this time. And Cheeky comes in and, and steel kills the final kill. Alright, yeah, cool. Awesome. I don't really know if I really add anything to this. We loved our sister. Whenever I see two birds flying up in the sky, I think back to the long distant past. Past. We loved everything about everyone, though not in some manic feverish sense. It was a kinder, gentler love, like the spring sun warming our skin. Okay, we've heard all this before. Stop repeating yourself. At least that's how it felt to me. And yet, you threw yourself headfirst into frightfully hot emotions, into feelings so powerful they, c they could and did change you. You turned from what a Valkyrie was meant to be. Sister, oh sister, even here in our lost belt, you followed your heart straight to your death. After falling for a human, you gave yourself over to love, only to be betrayed and despised. And soon after, you died. You lived for love, were, betray were betrayed by love, and died for love. We were scared, we were terrified. The way you died was so, so terrible, but so beautiful. It was unbefitting of a Valkyrie, without valuing hero's soul without valuing heroes' souls over all else. Your new heart shone so bright we couldn't help but fear it, even as we were drawn to it. But then again... Yes, Father, you're right. We've been broken for a long, long time. We already had our own. Yes, sister, we already know what it's like to have human hearts. We know what it is to have feelings so intense they burn you up inside like fire. Hell fire. This fire in my skin. This burning desire is turning me to sin. We don't know what romance is. We know nothing of love. So then, what is this fire inside us that continues to burn un unbated? Ah, Brynhild. Sigdrafia. Sigdrifia? I don't know. I can't help but wish you could call my name or names with those icy cold lips. Even as I bury these awful, hideous thoughts deep within my heart. This feeling colder than the merciless ice and hotter than raging fires. This is neither love nor romance. It's a bad romance. This is what humans call envy. An enormous spear has pierced us both. The first of us, Thrude, did not move to avoid Brynhild's final attack. The second of us, Hildur, ran towards Thrude without a second thought, choosing to be impaled alongside her. The third of us, Ortland, saw her two sisters impaled before her very eyes. Thrude, Hildur! Why, 
It's like you're both... This can't be right. Like a human heart. We're not like you. We're not... The fire that burns inside us is so very, very ugly. We could never hope to be like you, sister. Still, I should have known. Even if you are from proper human history, you're still our sister. You saw right through us as you always did. Even back when you played with us in our childhood. All we could manage was to follow you poorly. Yeah, you finally said it, Throod. I feel the same way, of course. I... This is so sad. I thought we could hold our own at least a little better, but I guess this is our limit. We can't beat you, sister, even if our performance output and equipment surpasses yours. There's no way we could ever kill you. Even so, I'd say we did pretty well. I think so, too. Let's go out together, Throod. Yes, of course. I would be happy to go with you. Ortland, I'm sorry for dragging you into our self-destruction. But once Sister awoke, this was inevitable. I'm sorry I can't bring you along. I know you're shocked by this because you're not as broken as we are. That's why this heart, this envy, this death is ours alone. I'm sorry, Ortland, our beloved little sister. We want you to follow your own heart as well, Ortland. I'm sure you have one too. So follow it wherever it takes you. That would be emotional if we spent more than five seconds with those characters. The two Valkyrie commanders have disappeared. <sighs> this can't be. Throod. Hildur. Huh? Sister. Brynhild. Why did... I, I don't understand. I don't understand. Why did they... It was like they chose to... Ordland? I can hear sister's words ringing... Uh, sister's words ringing out. The shadow border has already stopped moving. The frenzied giants are far away, and our throngs of Valkyries that once filled the skies are now nowhere to be seen. The only one left now is the third of us, Ortland, and... I don't understand. I just don't understand. How did it come to this? As she spoke those words, Ortland took flight, leaving her sister behind. She vanished somewhere among the clouds, never once looking back at her sister still on the ground. Well. Again, I think that would be more impactful if I got to know those characters a little more than the five seconds they were on screen. Or were we, or we were introduced to Nasu's version of Valkyries a little bit better. But, eh. Anyways, I think with that, that's going to be it for now. So until next time, guys, I will catch you all later. Asta.